Hello and welcome to pre-modern Ponza, a mono red land destruction aggro deck. So these are the most iconic and most used land destruction cards in pre-modern. Some of them are super well known and iconic such as Stone Rain and the art from the cover actually comes from the 7th edition version of Stone Rain. However, it is also possible to build a slower and more controlling version of this deck with artifact mana ramp and cards like Wildfire, which can totally devastate creature decks if you can get it out early enough. However, it's mostly the aggro versions that I've seen performing well online. We're also going to be playing some artifact mana disruption. Ring of Gix is great because it also doubles as a creature tapper and Sphere really stops our opponents from playing stuff in combination with land destruction. So the aggro builds are going to play creatures like this, most notably veteran brawlers, which actually can attack a reasonable amount of the time, if not all the time, in the aggro decks. It's really quite good for two mana. The more controlling builds play more creatures that generate card advantage, uh, most notably Dwarven Miner, which can just take over games by itself, especially against decks with really greedy mana bases. And both builds do play Avalanche Riders, it's a great card. For removal, all Ponza decks play Curse Scroll, it's a great source of colorless damage in a mono red deck. They also all play Lightning Bolt. And as far as other burn spells go, you can play as many or as little as you want, depending on your meta and your play style. For Acceleration, these decks pretty much all play Ancient Tomb to pump out a turn one Sphere or a turn two Stone Rain. Uh, you could also play Sandstone Needle or Artifact Mana. It doesn't have to be Mox Diamond, there's plenty of other great choices. However, it's more the controlling Wildfire builds that would play those cards rather than the aggro builds, which probably wouldn't. So we are mono red, but you may want to play some fetch lands to thin the deck out or for some splashes, which we'll get to later. Otherwise, Rishton Port is great for attacking the mana base and tapping those lands in upkeep. Wasteland, of course, does the same thing, takes out those annoying non-basics. Mishra's Factory is a great beatdown land and it doesn't really hurt our mana base at all. And Gutu Encampment is just another great man land as we're playing mono color. Ancient Tomb we've already talked about, it really helps to accelerate our stone rains and land disruption up until turn two. So playing a turn one Jackal Pup, turn two stone rain, it can really set opponents back. Green is definitely the most common splash color as there's some great green land destruction cards. However, it's not really a splash as most of these cards are double green. It's more of a different deck with its own play style. You will play completely different cards and it will be a different deck. The sideboard is a classic mono red sideboard full of things like Pyroblast, Graveyard Hate, Artifact Disruption and extra creature removal in Pyrokinesis. You will also have Master Core, which you may want to play in the main deck if your metagame has lots of creature decks. Circle of Protection Red is of course good against our mono red deck, as is Sacred Ground is okay. No one really plays Sacred Ground, but they do play land tax, which is good against land destruction, but it will still set them back hopefully long enough for us to kill them. When playing the deck, we want to put a clock down and then start destroying our opponent's lands as fast as possible. We're using the land destruction just to set them back and hopefully to mana screw any greedy decks. So knowing the colors they need really will help. When playing against the deck, again, knowing how to sequence your lands and play them for the turns so you can guarantee the spells that you want is key, as is saving fetch lands so they don't get targeted and you can save them for the turns you need them. Also, don't be afraid to use removal on smaller creatures or counter magic on land destruction spells if you feel you need to. The deck is also bad against combos and any decks that cheat on mana, such as Oath, Stifle Nought or uh, Reanimator that can cheat big stuff into play. We are an aggro deck. Uh, sometimes we play a more mid-range controlling version, but generally speaking, we're trying to beat down and we do have a strong matchup against control decks although combos can be very difficult. So the strengths of this deck, it's very unique and it's good against greedy mana bases. It's good against control and it can get free wins where we just mana screw opponents out. And it can be fairly budget, especially with those gold bordered uh, curse scrolls. Weaknesses are combos and decks that are immune to our land destruction. It is fairly mana hungry for an aggro deck 
and also it does require some format knowledge to know which lands to hit. So I want to give a huge shout out to Manos Kokinis and Mark Nemeth for helping me make this video. They're both great with Ponza. This is one of Manos's list and this is one of Mark's. They've both performed really well in very large tournaments with the deck. If you enjoy these videos, like, comment, subscribe and thank you for watching.